So Cleo's story. And how Boyer saved her life. Doesn't do justice to the fact that Boyer also saved our lives. We were at a dinner with friends, and we brought our two daughters, Cleo and Ella, and as the night progressed, we put them to sleep in separate rooms, and... I do remember for no reason that I needed to go check on Cleo. Serena screamed my name. She was totally limp, like her head just fell back. She's not breathing, she's not breathing. She's holding Cleo, and Cleo, her face is turning blue. From there, I don't remember very much. Peter remembers a lot more than I do. I just, like, that's kind of lost. Performing CPR on an infant, how small Cleo's mouth was, and how cute her mouth was when I was blowing air into her lungs. Got her to start breathing on her own. But she didn't wake up. After 10 or 11 days in the hospital, we went home with a, a child who was severely brain damaged. We had no idea what it meant. Back home, we were sent home with no support. Um, what, what are you supposed to do? Hey, can I come in? Do you want to come out? Oh, get up, get up. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you want to go hang out? Mm. We were lost searching for help, support, answers, medical opinions. But how are you supposed to know? Like with brain damage, how are you supposed to know who to go to? Like she has vision problems. Do you go to an eye doctor or do you go to a neurologist? We wanted to figure out if Cleo could see or not. And so Serena found some advertisement for a free eye screening. This doctor told us she wasn't blind, which was the first piece of good news that we'd had since the accident. And it was at that moment of good news when some random woman walked into the the screening appointment and asked, Who, who's this child? Looked at Cleo, looked at the doctor, looked at us, who is this? Who's this child here? Turns out we're at the Boyer Children's Clinic. We don't know Boyer from anything. And this is Mary Ellen Buchanan. She comes over and she goes, let me see her. And I hand Cleo to Mary Ellen and, and I watch them sort of in shock and Mary Ellen proceeds to talk to Cleo. She doesn't pay one more second of attention to us. Holds Cleo in her arms, starts talking to her, and Cleo starts smiling. And... Um... We hadn't seen Cleo smile much. And here she is, smiling at a stranger who's having a conversation with her like she's an adult. We were introduced to Mary Ellen. She introduced the Boyer Clinic to us. And once we engaged with the Boyer Clinic, we never looked back. Oh my gosh, I've been working at Boyer since 1987. So is that like 30 something years? See, I don't even. Yeah, it's, this is my spot. This is where I'm supposed to be, and I figure when you find something that works and is good, don't mess with it. Cleo is an amazing young woman. I've had the privilege of basically watching her grow up. I mean, I've known her since she was an infant. Cleo's the, the longest relationship I've had with a patient so far. Boyer primarily works with children between the ages of birth to three. And most children transition to school district services at the age of three. Because of Cleo's 
um, high muscle tone. The types of manual therapy and stretching that I do with Clio is not within the scope of practice for a school district physical therapist. So because there was a need there that wasn't going to be met by her services at school, Boyer um, is able to continue with therapy only services. So I was the lucky person who got to continue to work with Cleo after she graduated from Boyer. I have not seen Cleo in person for well over a year, so I am absolutely giddy with the thought that I get to give her a hug today. I see you. What are you doing? Huh? Gay really is family. You make me cry, are you? <laughs> For someone to see a kid like Cleo, and instead of seeing the differences, they see the similarities and the hope and the value of your kids that the world doesn't necessarily. Yeah. And so, Boyer, for me, I sort of think of it like an anchor where we're just in this abyss and we're just floundering and have no idea which direction to go. And then that was like, you're, you're here. And we're with you in this. Yeah. You say, let's go. <laughs> Boyer wasn't a community, it was a family. They, they took us in as a part of their family. We didn't take them in. In no uncertain terms, they told us Cleo's gonna be amazing. She's gonna, she's gonna rock. She's gonna come out of this and she's gonna be great. You'll see, watch. If you get somebody who's never met her in a room with her, and you get them to engage with Cleo, um, you will get a glimpse into who they are. They forget their problems, they forget what they want to be perceived as, they forget what was worrying them in the moment. The way she brings that out in people is marvelous and is magical. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> so, um, getting to know Cleo has been the privilege of my life. In this entire time that Boyer was caring for Cleo and helping her to progress, they were also serving us to give us the time to recover and regain our footing. And if it hadn't been for that, I know, given what I was faced with, given what options I thought I had, I know Boyer did save my life not just Cleo's.